lovely welcome to my channel my name is Dee. thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be doing an at-home silk press on natural hair and we're going to be featuring some tools that you can find on amazon if you're interested in seeing how i achieve this look keep watching okay girl let's get into this blowout you will want to start out with really clean hair the cleaner the hair the better the blowout the first product we're going to use is BB Straight by Bumble and Bubble. I've been using this product for about five or six years and I absolutely love it. This is going to serve as your first heat protectant. You'll want to go in with about a dime size amount, distribute it really evenly throughout your hair. The next product we're going with is Soft Sheen Carson Optimum Care Heat Protection Polisher. Again, another product that I absolutely love. This product is going to be a little bit more on the dense side. It almost has more of like a serum or like an oily feel to it. So if you have thinner hair, you'll want to use way less than I use. But if you live in a more humid climate, you'll want to use a little bit more just so your hair stays straight when there's a lot of moisture in the air. Now we're gonna go in with a blow dryer with a concentrator nozzle and section out our hair. I like to go in about four sections and work that way. That way every little section is nice and straight. We're just gonna use a paddle brush to detangle the hair and then go on with the blow dryer with the concentrator nozzle. I learned this trick really, really helps to kind of straighten the hair. And I do this until my hair is about 50% dry. And now I'm gonna go in with a paddle brush and blow dry until my hair is about 80% dry. This just ensures there's no tangles and also make sure your hair is blow dry nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna go in with this blow dry roller brush. Now this is a new product. I've never used this before. I was really excited to try it, but I end up snagging my hair, as you can see, because I curl it a little too much, as you can see right there, and my hair ends up getting caught between that little pink part and the bristle part. So be very careful. When you use this, you'll wanna use small sections of hair. But I love this thing. This will actually add tension to your hair and really straighten and smooth your hair. There's four speeds, so you can add as much blow dry and heat as you want or not. I love this thing. Definitely a must have, especially if you have very curly or kinky hair, this will definitely smooth and make your blowout look it's best look at that so now we're basically going to just go ahead and do the other side just the same way section it off working small sections is the key These little banana clips that I'm using came with the blow dryer that I'm gonna link down below in the description box. This is a very, very nice blow dryer. I almost wanna say it's like a Dyson blow dryer dupe.
So this blow dryer has many settings. The little light turns green, red, and blue, and it stands for high heat, normal heat, and cool, like the cool shot you have. I love this blow dryer. I really, really think it's like a Dyson Dupe. It's very lightweight, it's kind of quiet. I mean, it sounds like a blow dryer, but it's quiet, and it's very nice. I love this blow dryer. And again, once this little section is about 80% dry, is when I will go in with the roller brush in really small sections, so that way your hair doesn't get caught in the roller brush. The only thing about this dryer roller brush is I wish the on and off button were a button and not like a turny knob thing. Like to turn it on and to turn it off, it's that bottom gold piece at the bottom there. And quite honestly, it's annoying. I wish it were just like a button. Nonetheless, I will definitely keep using this thing. If anything, I will upgrade to a better one, but I love it. Look at that. So now we're gonna go in with this powder brush. This powder brush was supposed to straighten my hair. So you plug it in, it gets really hot, and you brush your hair with it, and apparently it's supposed to straighten your hair. I didn't really notice much of a difference with it, quite honestly. I'm gonna do just this section so you can see and then show you the other half in comparison and I don't really notice much difference. But I mean, it may work for some. I think my hair is just way too thick for this. I'm still trying to use it just to really see if I notice much of a difference. I mean, maybe a little bit, but I don't know. When you're blowing your hair out, the main thing you wanna do and be mindful of is how your hair is before you do like the, the flat iron. The flatter it is with the blow dryer, the better the flat iron will be. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the back. So now it's time to work on the back half of my hair. I'm also gonna section this out into two sections. First going in with the blow dryer and the powder brush, and then with the roller brush. The back of my hair is much curlier than the front of my hair, so I'm using this powder brush a lot more than I did in the front just to really make sure there's no tangles back there or any curls that are, you know, in there hiding <laughs> before going in with the roller brush. Please. 
Okay, so that's what my hair looks like, all blown out. Now I do need a trim, I am very aware, but this looks really good for just a blowout. Now we're gonna go with my favorite oil sheen spray, and this is the olive oil sheen spray. If you haven't tried this sheen spray for your blowouts, girl, you need it. It's the best, it smells good, it's not very oily. It just makes your hair shine. It makes your press out just so nice and shiny. Girl, you need it. And now we're sectioning our hair because now we're getting to the fun part. Now we're going in with our flat iron, adding some heat to this hair. So I don't like too many passes with the heat. I have this flat iron on about 400 degrees because my hair is thick. If your hair is not as thick as mine, you wanna keep it at about 300 to about 320. And I try not to do more than about two to three passes on each section. But get close to that root, girl. And I'm just going to take the same small sections and finish the rest of this quadrant. And now I'm going to do, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now it's time for the back half. This part takes me the longest. The back half of my hair is very thick. So I'm going to clip the front part with these little banana clips. These little banana clips came from the blow dryer. I thought that was so cute that they added the clips in there. But we're going to take the smallest sections in the back and flat iron and I'm gonna also be bumping the ends and I'm almost doing more than a bump. It's definitely gonna be more of a curl. So we're gonna flat iron and then we're gonna take it and curl the ends. I like to do this because once my hair starts to kind of get frizzy, if I curl the ends, it just stays nice and smooth. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I wrap it and unwrap it. It just makes for a really, really nice, voluminous blowout slash silk press. So as you can see, I'm just like straightening it, but I'm also curling the ends. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing in the front and just curl everything because the curls won't show once I'm finished because now we're gonna go in and wrap the hair. Wrapping your hair is very important. I wrap my hair every single time, even if it's for only about 15 minutes. You have to wrap your hair. I like to secure it with two scarves. One scarf I put on very snug after I've wrapped my hair. And then I spin it all the way around. I do like a 360 spin with this scarf. And then I add another silk scarf just to make sure this one stays on. Okay, so it's time for us to unwrap our hair. I like to spin my scarf around a few times and then shake my wrap out. So satisfying. You can't tell me it's not. And now we're going to just kind of brush our hair and kind of play with it. I don't like to force my hair to do what it doesn't want to do. I like for my hair to kind of just find its, you know, vibe, so to speak. So I'm going to play with some different parting. I'm going to brush it a different way. I'm going to brush it all back, brush it all forward, and just see how it falls. But already, girl, I'm loving it. Look at it. It's so smooth. Oh my goodness. So we're just finding how my hair wants to fall. We're playing with the parting. I don't like to force it. I like to just let it be lived in. It's a blowout. It's natural hair. Let it fall where it wants to fall, girl. Okay, so I think if we're settling in, I think we're gonna go for a right side part. So now I'm gonna perfect this part. If you want to make sure your hair is bone straight, you wanna really make sure you go really close to your root and straighten your hair. But for me, I like it for it to look like it has the volume and body. So I'm not extra picky about like the curl pattern and how straight it is and how close it is to the root because I want it to look like it's my hair. This is not a wig. This is natural hair blown out. So I like for it to look like that. And look how gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I will have everything used listed down in the description box and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.